Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty and Grim. I'm here today for part 74 for the Italian Grand Prix. Where you can see it is a very wet Italian Grand Prix. Absolutely chucking it down. Being that this is our home Grand Prix as a team, we have gone for a special one off livery. We've gone for a, a green and white design. I think it looks nice, bit of red on there as well. So this is a grid then for the Grand Prix. Bottas is on pole and we are P2. Then it's Leclerc and Oscar Piastri. Max Verstappen and Joe Gwen Lee. Fittipaldi and Pitt Gasly. Ocon and Jack Doohan round out the top 10. Then it's George and Liam Lawson. Albon and Taylor Pichette. Lando Norris and Lance Stroll. Then it's Hamburg and Carlos Sainz. Yuki Snade and Logan Sargent. And on the final row of the grid, it's the two horses with McFreeze being ahead. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Grand Prix. Absolutely chucking it down here at Monza. It is meant to dry out though towards the end of the Grand Prix. This is our qualifying lap though. And we're down in the first sector, park in the middle sector. But the final sector just wasn't enough to get pole position. But if you're watching the pre the grid you'll notice we set the exact same lap time as factory bottas on 117.440 and then you can see the weather indicator is meant to dry up by the end of the grand prix but how quickly will the rain stop we'll have to wait and see here it is though the five red lights come on for the grand prix the route and we are racing and it looks like we've got a better star than Bottas yes the second phase is absolutely done in going into the first corner Bottas too far back but we've gone deep we've gone bouncing over the curb we've just about kept it on the track though now it's just a traction race off of the second corner as we go round the curve grande we're in the lead, we've got the start we needed, is Bottas close enough to go back up the inside of us maybe into the second chicane, we're just trying to find the grip and there isn't any, if we go bouncing over the curb again, it's actually helped us, we've pulled out a small gap to Bottas behind, if you run a little bit wide there, now through the last mode, second last mode, we've had a big telescope, we did to wheel into the gravel that's going to allow Bottas to have a go but Bottas is too far back as he gets closer and closer as we go under the old track he is too far back as now we've gone deep at the final corner the power bonnet we make contact wheel to wheel and Bottas has to overpark the slide as we head down the pit straight the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc is battling the Red Bull of Max Verstappen Ferrari didn't really win here last season, we stopped him with Carlos Sainz and we go deep again at the, at the first again and now Bottas is alongside us and now it's a drag race once again through the curve of Grande, we keep him behind, we've got boost on the curve though we get a closer and closer, Bottas is going to go to the outside we shove the door, slam it shut, then we go over the curve again need to stop doing that otherwise we'll get track limits but a lap at a three now heading down under the old track and I think Bottas is getting closer and closer to the back of us but he's too far back going through now that this guy she came out of this guy she came and Bottas has dropped it he's spun around right in front of Charles Leclerc who's hit him as well he's in the middle of the track everyone goes in flooding free, he's dropping like a stone and that ball position is sent slipping as he's on the grass I think he may have some issues as well as he gets going again he's trying to do a free point on and he's got beached, he's got beached on the grass he's in the middle of the track his beach is going to be all over for him surely the safety car has been deployed here as you can see Max is in and just like Lewis Hamilton back in Mexico last season Bottas has been disqualified because he can't move what drama for Red Bull in the opening couple of laps 
of the Grand Prix. They've had their pole sitter disqualified after a spin and contact with the other one, Max Verstappen, who they're fighting in the World Championship now, is down in last place leading a new front wing. This is a replay of what happened to Bottas. You can see the contact there with his teammate. And now he's just in the middle of the track. This is Charles Leclerc's at points of view. Goes for the win for Ferrari. Spinning in front of him and then just he has nowhere to go. Bottas spinning left and right as he tries to catch it. Leclerc didn't know where to go and now with the spray. That is his teammate. He can't see anything. Can Max Verstappen the innocent party in that? Just clipping his teammates from wing. This is Piastri's point of view. You can see as well the spray. He must have been told about the crash because he is dropping down and I think he's made contact as well with, with Bottas. He's dropped and watched everyone just goes through him. So in lap 6 the safety car is going to be in at the end of this lap. Bottas' car has been cleared away and we're not far away now from the intermediate, so okay, the is very much easy enough. Here Gasly now finds himself in P2 with the fastest lap as well. Everyone crashing and spinning all around him. Gasly just popped up in P2. Jack doing P3. Looks still ahead of his teammate. Up on doing what we need him to do in P4. But we've left it right to the last minute. We didn't want to give him the toe as we head down into turn one. Caught out Gasly napping into the first game. Try and get it slowed down. We do lovely there. Can Alpine do an overtake Peter Gasly here? If Gasly got the pace, can we pull away? That would be the ideal situation. As you can see, the track now, it is drying still raining the track is drying but we are leading the race and if it's not the time we really don't want to be down at the back from leading the grand prix the field's all so bunched up here and now we come on to the end of lap seven gasly has stuck with us but jack Dillon is going for the lead they're side by side with gasly we're punching a hole in the air for Jack Dewan, he nearly got us as well. Dewan round the outside of Gasly. Has the inside line for the exit out of turn two. But I think Gasly's just got the exit. Albon's having a look here. And on lap eight, this is Enzo Fittipaldi boxing for the intermediate tyres. I was thinking it was time. It is time now by the looks of things as he come out of the pits you can see the green side rule what can he do on those inters i was thinking it was time and now it's definitely time we are going to box at the end of this lap to go on to the inters even if it does lose his time in the short term guess it goes down our inside we should gain in the long term as we pull over to the right to go through the pits then <coughs> Everyone stayed out pretty much here. Yeah? As we trundle down the pit lane, such a short pit lane here, yeah? and especially how quick they're going down the main straight through it. Mobs it onto the inters we go. Right, and now, go where can we come out relative to Enzo Fittipaldi? How much time has he gained as we come out of the pits and it's just behind us? Enzo Fittipaldi, Alfa Romeo may have pulled an absolute worldie here. We only just beat him into the first corner as we go bouncing over the curb. Can now Fittipaldi overtake us? Our former teammate from season one, seems like a very long time ago now, is at the end of lap nine. Gasly is in to make the switch onto the intermediate tyres. The wets go off, the inters go on. Where is he going to come out relative to us and Fittipaldi? As he comes trundling down the pit lane, where are we? We're waiting, we're waiting. There we are, we've rocketed past 
and he's lost out to fit a, to fit a penalty as well as as Pierre Gasly here that extra lap the, the wets are falling the inters are absolutely flying it's now we've got we've caught the back of those who are staying out on the wets the horses we've got Paris Magnussen this is our opportunity now to gain some places and gain some time on those behind as we passed the uh, the horse we now pass the Williams of our fourth teammate who we were battling for the win this time last season Carlos Sainz we're now on the back of AlphaTauri Fittipaldi and Gasly are struggling to get their way through the back markers that we've absolutely flown past we're on the back of the AlphaTauri now we're going to send it late down the inside into the second chicane job done there we go a little bit wide but we've kept it I think just about inside track limits is next up is a Ferrari there's now loads of cars are still staying out on the wet tires we pitted lap 8 this is lap 14 and most of them are only just now switching as that was Jack Dewan this is that was George Russell but this is Jack Dewan and Albon lap 14 going on 15 just how many laps they've gone I mean the, the Inters are clearly the tyre to be on and they've stayed out on them and this is Charles Leclerc leading the race still on the on the all wet tyres and you can see he's just got no, he's just got no grip and we're absolutely got him there he's got no chance of another big slide catch it this is this is Max Verstappen spinning round as he was trying to get his way back through the field the rule kind of car had a car park here and as we go through the, 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 the chicane no, gets a red flag Max Verstappen spin has brought okay, out the red flag and that is from the race up in the air those staying out on the wet so they have just pulled it absolutely worldy here is Max Verstappen going for the overtake on the Alfa Romeo round the outside and just lights up the rear tyres spinning round and it's a car park at the first corner Max Verstappen's day going from bad to worse after the contact with his teammate on the opening lap on the opening couple of laps getting his way back through and now he's facing the wrong way and brought out a red flag it was Fittipaldi he's been caught up in that he was absolutely flying you can see how far we've left him though it's now this is Jack Dewan behind going down into turn one and what's happened here into turn one he's been hit he's been hit by someone behind that is um Albon and I think Dewan's also out of the race. He's been disqualified as well as out as Jack Dewan. You might have just seen it at the bottom. But now it is time for the dry tyres. We've skipped the crossover points and we're going to go to the mediums to get us to the end. But for the second time, it's lights out and away we go. We're into the lead of the Grand Prix as that is George Russell. George Russell looked right at the restart. He's pulling over and to retire from the Grand Prix. It's a double DNF for Mercedes. This is a golden opportunity for us to get some points back in the Constructors World Championships. There he is, pulling off and off the side on the pit straight. It's now, this is Leclerc. What a Ferrari done here. Leclerc is still on the intermediate tyres, the track is bone dry, what are you doing Ferrari? It's your home Grand Prix, Leclerc could have maybe fought us for the win, but now he's got a box for, for some dry tyres. What have they done here? It's an absolute trilly train behind Charles Leclerc, they're all queuing up to overtake him. Ferrari leaving him on wet tyres on a bone dry track 
maybe they know something that the other 19 cars and drivers and 10 teams don't know about if he's going to pull over to go into the pits where Ferrari thinking more rain was coming absolute clowns what there's no words to describe that also the other Ferrari of Lando Norris down at the back and for Ferrari two years running has lost out on a chance to win the home Grand Prix and it's not just Ferrari making it the Haas and the Williams and the McLaren as well and the Alfa Tauri of Dennis Halger boxing now he's got a puncture Dennis Halger has got a puncture what a dramatic start to the restart of the Italian Grand Prix Dennis Halger has got a puncture on the opening restart lap this is a replay of the start then from George Russell's point of view he gets a great start and then the engine just goes and he has to pull over to, to retire and actually Albon's massively been caught up in that he was floating around in P4, P5 all race long and now he's down at the back this is what happened though to the Alphatari of Dennis Hogger going down the back straight into his garage again and the tyre just lets go on him no contact or anything from turn one or anything it's just the tyres let go all on its own as now this is Gazi now P2 Max Verstappen somehow is P3 in this race what is he doing today as this is Gazi from P2 He's over his and dropped it on the wet patch at turn one and he's gone spinning off into the barrier. Got no front wing now. Gasly, who has been P2 this entire Grand Prix since the Red Bull and Ferrari contact, now is out and he's pulling off as well. Maybe he has suspension damage along with that. It's all gone horribly wrong for. And on peeing every time Gasly's on for a good result, either the engine goes or makes a mistake. What, what is going on in this Grand Prix? What a great Grand Prix it is. Max Verstappen finds himself in P2 now after contact with his teammate on the opening couple of laps. Having to box for a new front wing, being stone dead last, being getting his way back through the field, spinning round and bringing out the red flag. It's now P2 in this Grand Prix. This is like some jugs and butter stuff from Canada in 2011, making contact with everyone and still on for a win potentially, if he can take it off of us. As we get the re race restarted once again, we did exactly what we did at the first restart and leave it right to the line. We don't want to give Max a, a slipstream. We've kept him behind. There's more yellow flags in the background. As now we head down, Max on the outside going for the lead of the Grand Prix. If we can win this Grand Prix, what a race it would be for him to win. But we're not going to allow that to happen. But Max has got us round the outside of the Parabolica. But now he's punching a big hole in the air as he defends to the inside. We're going to go to the outside and we're going to get him back around the outside of turn one. There's still yellow flags flying in the background. And this is why, because Carlos Sainz's his engine in the back of that Williams has blown up. It's gone bang. And Carlos Sainz, who nearly won this race last season, finds him out of it the race this season. Lap 24 of the Grand Prix, the sun is out. It's Max Verstappen. He goes back side by side for us into the first corner. We're going to try and keep it pinned around the outside. Ocon now finds himself P3 after his teammate's mistake. Something's going all right for Alpine as, Al as Alcon's coming for P2 in the Grand Prix. Round the outside, through the curve of Grande. Can he get the job done on the inside? 
He has to back out of it. Max keeps it pinned around the outside. And it's job done for him. Now lap 25. Max is right on the back of us again. Piastri is also in this fight. As he's going for a lot of knock on. Max is going back in. Back round our outside. They're going to show him the door. He has to back out. Piastri's on the outside of Gasly. As now we're still going wheel to wheel. With Max Verstappen. We keep him behind. And Piastri has got past Esteban Ocon. In the McLaren. Max still all over the back of us. This is lap 26. We run wide at the Lesmo. Max is on the inside of us. Yeah, we're now side by side as we head down towards his garage again under the old track. We're not giving up. Neither is Max Verstappen. To the outside, we fend him off. And now Oscar Piastri tries to get up the inside. Max keeps him behind. This could be a grandstand finish here at Monza. It must be one of the most dramatic Grand Prix of the career mode. Roughly outside of the par Parabolica goes Piastri up into P2. Max is dropping back and now Piastri is trying to win the Grand Prix and take us on the last lap. He goes to the outside. We're going to be side by side as we go through. The Hiscari chicane to keep it pinned around the outside. Now there's just one more straight and one more corner till we hopefully can win the Grand Prix. Liam Lawson now is P3. He's somehow found a great, great result here. We round the final corner though with one by Piastri. has got a good run on us. Piastri's clipped us. And we've gone spinning into the wall. There it is then, victory in the Italian Grand Prix. A historic race and an achievement they can be immensely proud of. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? A reliable car, that was the most important factor here. This was a real battle of attrition, and you could tell those at the front were trying to find a balance between running their outright pace and taking care of the car to reach the end. Here comes your top three, making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. This is a replay then of the final corners. We ran a bit wide. Piastri went to the inside of us, clipped us, and then we were just spinning in the middle of the track. Across the line, we still win it. Oscar Piastri, P2, Liam Lawson finds himself on the podium for the first time since he won the opening Grand Prix back in Bahrain. I don't know how he's found himself P3. That's a great drive. That was a race. Where you've just got to keep going and let everything pin around you and that's exactly what Liam Lawson's done. Max Verstappen P4, what a result for him after making contact with his teammate and bringing out a red flag. Albon finishing P13, he got held up by George Russell at the restart when he pulled over to retire. Bottas and Jack Dewan both being disqualified. George Russell retiring on the restart and Gasly retiring as well with that mistake down at turn one lighting up the rear tires and spinning into the barrier also Carlos Sainz retiring as well so that's two Mercedes engines that have gone bang this weekend so that's worrying times for Mercedes in terms of the drivers world championship then we now have a 46 point lead over Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton of course is out of it so Lewis Hamilton still P2 in the drivers for now. Piastri P4 but P3 really. So down at the back of the Drivers World Championship then there's still three drivers still yet to score. It is Albon. He will get points for us at some point. I'm not worried about that. Logan Sargent and K 
Kevin Magnussen. That double D in their four Mercedes means the gap's now 37 points in the Drivers' World Championship after our win here today. It's a great day for Alfa Romeo. They got the strategy bang on on the crossover and it's a double point score for them. It's a great day for Alfa Tauri as well. So that's been your Italian Grand Prix. It was a race of just keep going. The contact between the Red Bulls at the start, the red flag and the great battling at the end as well. We go to Japan next and I'll see you then. Goodbye.